all right ladies and gentlemen we went to a couple of yard sales this weekend i did not record any yard sales no garage sales no estate sales none of that i just didn't feel like doing it so let's get into this video i'm going to show you what we picked up how much we paid for it and how much it sells for all right first thing on the list is this easton project 3 bb core certified 50 picked this up for 40 dollars and it should sell for about two to three hundred dollars looking at the comps that i've seen maybe more maybe less I could be wrong given its condition it has a nice little cut right here um, nothing damaging to the to the bat but it just doesn't look that nice next is this rigid 36 inch pipe wrench pick this up along with the Colombian vice uh, d43 and a half for ten dollars a piece so twenty dollars in total for just the pipe wrench and the vice the pipe wrench sells for about 70 or 80 dollars and the vice sells for about 50 dollars so we picked up this entire box of cables along with a bunch of old phones for five dollars um honestly i've been having pretty good luck on you know old phones and just sell selling them as a lot and i figured for five dollars this is pretty worth it we have some pretty old stuff in here too i don't even know what this is oh it's a GPS unit pretty cool old Motorola phones you guys remember these look at this chunky thing compared to what we have now it's awesome now I paid five dollars for the LT 120 Carrera uh, turntable along with Star Wars book on tape cassette and Adventure Time now this I kind of just picked up for Alexis I'm pretty sure she'll enjoy this by herself, but I believe this sells for about $10 and that sells for about $20. So not that bad for $5. Last but not least, we paid $40 for PS3 and all these games. God of War, Resistance, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Turtle Beach headphones, and some $10,000 video games, FIFA Soccer 11 and FIFA Soccer 13. <laughs> <laughs> she's laughing because she knows they're not worth much bonus pack nintendo 64 this is not oem um it has the blue on the package but it's actually the red controller i believe that sells for about 15 dollars plus free shipping and a stack of atari games which not all of them have a good sell rate i believe we have about two or three of them that do sell for about 15 dollars or 20 dollars free shipping now in the stack we also have a lot of these sega genesis games nba jam monopoly adam's family and power rangers which i believe the power rangers is worth the most out of all of these games in the atari system it sells for about 25 dollars plus free shipping now coming over here we have some xbox games some wii u games uh, i did have a sealed animal crossing for the wii u this is another one wii u just dance 2017 bag of controllers turbo touch 360 sega genesis controller a nintendo 64 power pack if you ever come across the old systems usually they don't have the power pack snes controller along with that we picked up an atari 2600 system coming over here we have shrek 2 tac 2 for the gamecube donkey kong pi 2. so me personally i will pick up video game cables anytime i see them usually at yard sales you'll find them for about a dollar or two a piece most of the time it has a nintendo logo on it so you know exactly that it's going for the nintendo system obviously you don't know if it's working but for me in my experience right now 100 percent of the time all of the nintendo cables that i've picked up at yard sales have worked and have benefited me somewhere down the line so this nintendo 64 power pack that i just picked up i actually have a nintendo 64 that i've been holding on to that does not have the power pack and i just didn't want to buy one on eBay just because I knew I would find one eventually at a yard sale or something it benefits to pick up these little things that you know will eventually complete your bundle if you are holding on to certain things this is just my personal experience something that I'm trying to pass on to everyone else hopefully you learn from this this little tip does come in handy uh, it helps me out a lot I've completed so many system bundles and sold them complete after a couple weeks it does have to sit there for a bit but it does come in handy at the end of the day thank you all for joining the video thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one peace out